What's going on guys? Today I'm gonna to be giving an initial review on the iBox Stage 2R lift that I picked up for the Tacoma. I'm gonna give you my thoughts on it so far and if I think it's worth it. Uh, I literally have had this thing on for a day, so I only have that much experience, but I will be making multiple of these videos as time goes on uh, of me having this lift on the truck. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So let's go ahead and talk about pricing for these things. Uh, it was 1503 all in. Uh, so you get the front coilovers, the rear shocks with reservoirs. Uh, then you also get a soy bar relocation kit if you want to install it. I didn't, but uh, to each their own. Uh, I ordered from Extreme Terrain because they offer free shipping on orders over $1,000 and it's free one day shipping, which is just crazy. Not sponsored. I just wanted to say how good of a deal it is. So I will leave a link to the Extreme Terrain listing on their website for these down in the description below. But pricing is not that bad at all. And for what you get, it's some of the best price performance on the market, in my opinion. And overall, it's just the best bang for your buck. So the front shocks come as an assembled unit. As you guys can see here, uh, the shock itself is a two inch shock. And then it has an iBox spring on it. And the quality is really, really nice. I was actually very surprised. These things are thick, they're chunky. They don't look like they're going to break at all, and they look like that they will last until the ends of the earth. What was said about the front quality-wise can be said about the rears as well. And the most exciting part about the rears is that they actually have a reservoir. A reservoir shock for this price range is kind of unheard of, and that was one of the reasons why I went with Eibach, because having a reservoir shock with this kind of suspension setup, like I have on the truck now, with a reservoir is just, it's kind of crazy. And reservoirs are something I really wanted. I don't want to spend the money on because they're so expensive. So getting them on here for this price point was really nice to have. And I have noticed a difference having a reservoir on already. And this is just in the rear. So I can only imagine what it must feel like to have up in the front. But these things are really, really nice. So as far as quality goes and looks wise, I think that they are perfect. I really, really dig how they look and I just also like how high quality they feel. They have really good reviews. They're made in the US. Ibok is a very reputable company and overall I'm very happy with this purchase. Let's go ahead and get into the off-road capabilities of these things and how much I think it's impacted the drivability of the truck. So as far as on-road driving capabilities go, it is so much better than stock. It's crazy. The nose dive from braking is gone. There's less body roll. Going over small potholes and bumps is a lot more controlled. And you just, your wheels stay on the ground more whenever you're on road going fast. And whenever you're driving on the road, that's really important. But we're all taking our trucks off road. So, how does it do off road? And let me tell you, it is night and day. I'm really, really impressed with the suspension. Let's get into it. So this suspension off-road is just, it completely changes the feel of the truck. I mean, it tightens everything up. You feel safe, you feel secure. You feel like you can do anything with the suspension. And I know that's probably that way with upgrading your suspension at all. But for me, this has been really apparent with this one. Uh, it feels like you have longer travel, even though you don't. It just, you know, it, like the way it makes you feel about your truck when you're off-roading is just crazy. And it does make it a whole lot more capable. All the experience off-roading I have with this suspension in the last 24 hours has purely been just from driving around my property, um, climbing on logs, just, you know, driving around on, on uneven terrain. I haven't been able to get onto any trails yet and really experience how the suspension is like, but as soon as I do, I will be making a video uh, for that trail day whenever I do take this suspension out there. But as far as right now, all I can say is that I have noticed a really big difference and what the suspension has added to the truck just in this small amount of time that I've been using it has been crazy. And I would recommend the suspension to anybody that's thinking about picking up a new lift for their Tacoma. Now, lift is the next thing I wanna talk about because that's everyone's most commonly asked question I feel like, is how much lift are you getting? Let's go ahead and talk about that. The iBox States 2R coilovers have a threaded body. As you guys can see, right there that allows you to change the height of the suspension. Ibot claims that it'll go from zero to three inches of lift, which is more than enough. I don't recommend lifting these trucks any more than two inches. That's what mine is at right now. 
Uh, it looks a little bit higher just because it has to settle, but two inches is a sweet spot. You also don't want to compress that spring too much uh, and make the ride super stiff. Now for the back, the back shocks just go in place of the stock ones. If you want to lift the back, you're going to need either an add leaf or a block back there. I have yet to decide what I want to do. The uh, leaf springs are stock and I just put the shock back there. So I have to think about that, but you know, for the time being, it's working for me. Uh, then the two inches in the front. So uh, yeah, that's how much you can get for the lift out of these uh, suspension. But for now, nothing in the back and two inches in the front is perfect for me. Suits my needs and I'm gonna keep it this way for a while. My overall thoughts of the suspension are just overly positive. For the price, you really can't beat it and I don't regret picking it up at all. I'm excited to be making some more videos on the suspension when I get it out to some trails uh, than just, you know, how durable is it over time. So I will be making updates to this as well. But as of right now, that's my opinions on this suspension. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider dropping a like and subscribing down below as it's greatly appreciated. Uh, we just recently hit 1,250 subscribers, which is just crazy that that many of you guys like like my content and and like watching me that's it's just crazy um so yeah stay tuned for the next video whenever that may be i'm still kind of coming up with some new ideas for content that's a little different than what i usually post so that's the video like i said hope y'all enjoyed i'll see y'all next time